I'm Lindsay Calla, codename Saucy Glossy. I'm a fashion blogger, I adore ruffles, and I never met a hat I didn't like. I'm Karen Blanchard, codename Karen Britchick. I am a fashion blogger, I love mixing prints and playing with rock and roll. We've been recruited by Marie Claire to take on fashion's toughest assignments. No styling challenge is too tricky. No shopping trip, too grueling. We make the hard choices and we do it for you, all in the name of good style. This is Fashion Mission. So tell me, where would be your dream date? I would be whisked away to Paris, like Carrie Mulligan in an education. Oh, you know that God, chat? you've got it all. I got it down. What about you? Oh, Paris sounds great. Hi, ladies. How did you what? get on there? It's spring and love is in the air. So I've set you both up on blind dates. No, New Yorkers don't do blind dates. You're not, you're joking. Your mission is to put together an outfit for that date. But since you never want to blow a lot of money on a guy you've never met before, you only have $50 to spend at Goodwill. $50 I can do. Yeah, we, we excel at this. Yeah. Good luck. I think my strategy right now when I go into a Goodwill is just to see overall what is in that store. And I've only got $50. So whenever I'm going on a date, I always want to be really feminine. So I'm looking for things that have feminine colors and feminine details. Okay, I like that. That looks good. I like this one. This is for blind dates. I'm looking for something that's a little bit, it's got to be feminine. I want it to be soft, not structured. This I pulled out because it's soft, okay? And look at the small floral print on it. All these things here I'm not going to use because it all looks very dated. I love going bold with colors, but for a date, you know, sometimes guys just don't get it. So I think even though I'd wear this during the day, I might stay away from it for a first date. I'm just kind of going by color more than anything. I'm looking for glitz as well. Something embellished, like an embellished. Like a sequin, something sequin. Or maybe shoes. God, these are so perfect for summer. Look at these, look at the platform on there. It's perfect, it's $15. Don't even bother to look at sizes of garments when you're in a thrift shop. That's the one place where I do not even look. There's no point because it's a mishmash of things from different years, and so the size is not gonna apply right now. And the key to vintage shopping is not forgetting about tailoring. So you can spend $5 on something that might be a little big on you, and then spend the extra money you're saving on getting it tailored for you. I found so many cute things. We're under $50 here, so we'll see. Your total, $49.96. Right under. Four cents to spare. Come on, Miss Lady, how are you? You did it for choices. So cheap. Love that. And your total, $36.68. Good. Ready for your first date? Yes, I, I think, think so. so. Okay, let me just recap. You had $50 yes. in a Goodwill store mm -hmm. and probably not much time to do it to pull together two really cracking looks for a blind date. Yes. That's a tall order. It's fun. Yeah, we know. did well, actually. Yeah, we were super quick. Like that. Yeah. Tell me about this. Well, I'm super feminine, and when I think about going on a mm -hmm. date, I want to kind of embrace that yeah. side. Well, pink and I think yeah. you're there. I think I got it. <laughs> so, and of course, like, I wanted to define my waist and still give an idea of my shape uh -huh. to the guy as well without giving too much away. Mm -hmm. And I just love this neutral color palette with a pop of yellow in my shoes, which I found at Goodwill, which I think was a good score. These are great. I know. Nice. Now, tell me, break your look down for me. OK, I wanted something that felt comfortable, and I love a skirt or dress with pockets, because it always feels more casual, doesn't it? Yeah, of course. Yeah. So, Any gown or dress with pockets. I know, okay. gown's the best. So I found this gem with pockets. Love the straight classic cut to it, slightly yeah. boxy, but not tight so you can't walk. It's loose. And I teamed it with this khaki green Great. loose um, t-shirt effect. And I just had a safari look going on. So I've got the hat and then I put like these very sort of tribal, tribal inspired, amazing heels I have at home. I was going to yeah. say, they're amazing. Were I could have them season. And if size. someone had put them at Goodwill. So, yeah. It's interesting, both of you chose to, obviously, there's like a certain amount of non verbal communication you give off. And obviously, you give off a very feminine, flirty idea. And then you're a little bit kind of louder, but just cool in a way. I love the fact you've both taken pieces from Spring Trends. You've got the print here, which was huge on the runways, Michael Kors. You had that whole tribal mm. feel going mm. on. 
And then here we have pleats. Pleats were massive on the runway. And you both look right and comfortable in your looks. You know, you don't look out of place at all, which is nothing worse than being at a date. And you're like, uh, I don't feel, feel like me at all. And feel like yourself. Yeah. And you want to make him work for it, right? He's like, this is a bit of me, but yeah, you get to see more later. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> no more dealing with it. Um, anyway, <laughs> you know, you look so cool, girls. I think it Thanks really so. now. Thank it. you. Well, well, great. Done. Thanks. Mission accomplished. <laughs> Thanks for watching another episode of Fashion Mission. See a new episode every Friday. And we love to hear from you, so don't forget to leave your comments below. Follow us on Twitter and Facebook. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to Hello Style. Mm -hmm. See you next week. Yep, see you next week.